Up four minutes of Nervy added on time to be played. Bell for Coventry City on the halfway line into the centre spot and clinging. Wood for Coventry. They maybe think they've been granted a chance with that clearance off the line by Craney. That sparked them into life. They may be starting to think, can we now get one back? Let's capitalise on that wonderful bit of defending. Wide left for Coventry. Wood crosses into the middle. Beyond the far post. Good header away by Delaney. Fantastic. Who saved it. Switch Towns Bacon because McPeak was hovering, ready for a tap in at the far post. Yeah, I've always been his biggest critic, but he's, since he's given it centre half, he's been superb in Hasn't there. He? He's done really, really well. Fair, fair play to him. Corner kick to Coventry City. And added on time at the end of this game. Left-footed ball, up goes Aaron Lee Barrett, and he comes down with the ball, but then he loses it. Only for a split second, though. No, he's, he's just been quite phenomenal. Full credit to Damien Delaney, who got yeah. some stick early on in his Ipswich Town career when he struggled at left-back. But uh, I can't remember seeing such a change in a player from a switch of position. Lee Martin preparing to come on for a time-wasting substitution as much as anything from uh, Roy Keane. Long time since so we saw him for Town, but Martin about to come on for one of the midfielders. Owen Garvin... It is who will uh, make way to good ovation, one would expect from the crowd. And I thought so, he's done well, Owen Garvin, especially for the second goal, a great ball. I mean, only hit him or Durant Ledbetter could have done that ball, so it was really well played. He's done well since he's came back in the side as well, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's reacted very, very well, as they all have when they've had little spells out of the team, just what their manager would have demanded from them, a handshake and a pat on the back from Roy Keane as Garvin disappears and down below yeah, us. Yeah, definitely good. Two and a half minutes of the added on four still to go in this game. Fingernails at the ready, Gunnison throws the ball. This one did briefly go into play, but not for too long before it's ended up down the tunnel. And he apologizes to his teammates, goal kick, which Aaron Lee Barrett can take at the midway point of the added on four minutes. I think he needs to practice him a lot bit more. He does, he, he'd be <laughs> handy if you were to get one onto the pitch. Because Coleman's just looking at him, he's raging. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> it's a goal kick, which Lee Barrett can take. Two minutes still to play. Ipswich Town two minutes away from their third successive home win. Another big three points, three wins in their last four games. Though they've been last Sunday's draw. Lee Barrett with this goal kick, got enough height and distance on it into the Coventry half of the field. Wickham with a good little in-step touch to Walters. Wide right now, Cunyago trying to make amends for that one that he had cleared off the line a few minutes ago. Good play by Cunyago. He'll go to the corner flag. That's the man you want on the ball in those kind of situations. But he's uh, given away a throw-in in the end to Coventry City. Oh, free kick it is, because Westwood's come out of his area to take this. Yeah, initially he'd done really well, and then he's, he's given away a silly foul. But Approaching the final minute of this match, live on BBC Radio Suffolk. Jack this could go goal means it's 2-1 to Ipswich Town. Westwood with a long free kick from behind the left-back area, outside of his box, headed forward. Kinyaga didn't get involved in play because he knew he'd have been offside. Klingen, route one stuff for Coventry, headed away at the back by McCauley for Ipswich Town. In goes Kinyaga, he's won the ball well, has Walters to his right-hand side. He'll drive forward on the far side of the field. Lee Martin, the substitute in the centre, looking for his first touch, and Mckindo cynically brings down John Walters. It's going to be a free kick and probably a card to match the colour of Michael McIndoe's boots. Good play from Jonathan Walters, though. He's ran out, ran out tried to get something, and he's got a foul. Bit of frustration there from McIndo. Ideal for Ipswich Town, who, uh, needless to say, are in no hurry to take this free kick. You wouldn't expect anything else. No point in just belting it in early when you're trying to hold on for a win. Final 10 seconds of this game, according to my watch. Ipswich Town lead 2 1. They play this free kick short. Ledbitter will go to the corner flag over on the far side to our left. He's still got the ball. It's dug out by a Coventry defender for a throw to the visitors. Grant Ledbitter can't believe it. Doesn't understand how that went against his side. That's the 49 minutes of this second half up. Uh, McKindo doing a good job of time wasting for Ipswich Town, the length of time he's taken over this throw, and eventually gets it into play, and it's out again for another Coventry throw-in. McKindo, midway inside the Coventry half, throws the ball back to Westwood, maybe a last chance for Coventry City, but they need to get the ball forward from left to right early. Craney approaches the halfway line, plays it short to Bell. Everyone in a blue shirt back behind the ball. McKinder, wide left, surely a last chance for Coventry. High ball in towards the edge of the Ipswich town box, good in the air from McCauley. Out as far as his fellow countryman Klingen. Now Baker for Coventry City, ball into the Ipswich town area, Woods up there, headed towards the net, and in the far corner! Oh, another injury time goal goes against Ipswich town, and Coventry City, through their big centre-half Richard Wood, have snatched a 2 all draw at the death. Ah, oh, that's sick. 
Uh, sick. The chances of had to win the game. Well, uh, Martin Craney deserves a huge pat on the back for the clearance off the line a few minutes ago, doesn't he? He does, but uh, you can just see the reaction for the Ipswich Town players. They've done everything to win this game, apart from getting that third goal. And uh, I obviously think the referee should have blew the whistle long before that. Yeah. Uh, it was way beyond the... Well, I say way beyond. It was a good yeah. 40 seconds for me beyond the uh, 49th minute. Ledbetter furious over the throw and that he felt should have been his or John Walters. 10, 15 seconds earlier, was given the way of Coventry. And uh, that's an interesting one. We'll ask Roy Keane his thoughts on the game going beyond 49 minutes in the second half. Yeah, it's a bit of a sickening for, I feel for I feel for those players out there, because they've given it everything today. They really have, and uh, they, they have been the better side. Uh, but if Credit you don't take your chances... Credit to for keeping on going. Rossini has talked himself into his third booking of the season. And it's going to be 2-2, it won't be a third success of home win for Ipswich Town, but uh, unless there's a real disaster, it's going to be eight unbeaten at Portman Road, unless, can they get a winner? Town coming forward, Wickham to Cunhago, oh, inside the boxes at 3-2, yes! it is! Yes! Oh, what a finish to this game! Pablo Cunhago, 30 seconds after Coventry said he thought they'd had a 2-2 draw, lifts it over the top of Westwood, all the composure in the world, Aaron Lee Barrett's run the length of the pitch, Gomez, the coach, is on the field, and Pablo Cunhago wins this game for Ipswich Town. Town have beaten Coventry City by three goals to two. It's a great ball from Connor Wickham into Pablo, but what about what the finish? finish? What a finish, just lobbed it over him, and thoroughly deserved. 